Well, if you've been to downtown Minneapolis over the past few years, you've likely seen this. Businesses closed, empty retail spaces. But this Sunday morning, we've got a story of hope. I recently discovered the creative way that the downtown council is actually filling some of those empty spaces. As of late, the Nicolette Mall area of Minneapolis has been known for being a bit desolate. It's just dead down here. Um, it's like a ghost town. But new life is moving in by way of Bella Lamb. My name is Bella Lamb and I'm the founder of Coconut Whisk. She opened Coconut Whisk, a vegan coffee and treat shop across from Target's corporate office. At 25 years old, the Vietnam native has already seen a lot. I actually have a vivid memory of landing in Minnesota and it was snowy. And so that was the first time I ever, ever saw snow or anything like that. So. That was a very core memory of mine. She moved to Farmington at six years old. My mom had multiple jobs. My dad had multiple jobs and we were always low income. We always had to do free or reduced lunch at school. So it was just a really big um, struggle with that growing up, but it made us closer and it made me appreciate hard work and, and family. And she started working hard herself. After studying public health in college at Mankato, she decided to become a vegan giving up all animal products. And she started taking on plant-based baking. So we started with baking mixes that we made in our college dorm room, um, and then just went to farmer's markets and kind of just grew from there. She and her partner, Miles, launched Coconut Whisk Baking Mixes. And it worked. This company took off, right? It did, yes. And then she took it to the next level, opening a storefront, thanks to a new program by the Downtown Council. How integral was this chameleon program to giving you the chance to do this? It was, oh, I would say we wouldn't be able to do it without them. The program cuts deals with landlords to give sales-based rent to women and people of color who are launching businesses. I feel like it's an ideal way to say that downtown is for everyone. Dan Collison, who runs the Chameleon program, says they already have four businesses in place and another in the works. This is a great way to build community relationships and activate those spaces with the kinds of businesses that we want downtown to be about. It's intentional that we're doing this for those businesses. They're incredible. They're wonderful businesses, and we need more of them downtown. And Bella is excited to be downtown. She's open Thursday through Sunday and hoping business will pick up when more people return to work. She's feeling hope and support. Um, we're just enjoying it day by day. <laughs> well, we're enjoying it too. Thank you oh, for thanks. having us. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Now, if you or someone you know is interested, the Chameleon Program is taking applications.